Hello stampers, this is Marie Bennett at blackberriesandcream.net. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, Christmas card. We'll be using the stamps from the uh, Wonderland stamp set and we'll be using this Silent Night and All is Calm, All is Bright and this little uh, spattering of snowflakes right here. This stamp set is available in the new 2015 uh, holiday catalog. If you don't have one yet, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to send We're you one. We're also going to be using the new Archival Basic Black ink. We're going to be using the Winter Wonderland Designer Vellum Paper Stack. This is really nice paper. Some of it is... <laughs> kind of whimsical like these antlers and this is just vellum with basic black printed on it. Uh, here's a um, paper that's just an interesting dotted design. Here's a beautiful black uh, pine needle design. Just black snowflakes on vellum, stripes on vellum, trees, and then like a gold crackle design, little gold dots, um, pine and pine, pine cones and pine needles. I'm not sure what this is, but it's very pretty. It's like a I'm going to call it a fish scale. I'm sure that's not what it's supposed to be, but it's really pretty. Uh, the gold snowflakes, we'll be using that in our card today. Just gold stripes. There are different patterns um, in gold than they are in the black, but they're all really nice paper. We're also going to be using... Um, piece of paper from this Winter Wonderland Specialty Designer Series paper stack or paper pack. We're going to be using, where is it? We're using this one. The black uh, with the white snowflakes. And on the other side is gold and white stripes. Then you've got these, uh, I don't know what they are, it's just a gold pattern and on the back there's nothing. And this is another single sided design, just black and gold. This white uh, with, the, with the gold spattering on it on the back has black with the white antlers. This all is very shiny paper. It's a really nice paper pack. And here's a smaller version of that in fish scale design. And on the back, a smaller version of the pine needles. Here's a black with gold spatter or crackle design. And on the back, really cool pine tree, black on white. Here's the black and gold on white uh, pine cones and pine needles. And on the back of that is uh, black with the little white. Uh, it almost looks like uh, if you're from, uh, if you were a young person in the 60s, you would remember these beaded curtains. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, so those are the papers that are in this Winter Wonderland uh, Designer Specialty Designer Series paper. So, uh, to make this card, we're using this uh, piece of basic black cardstock that's been cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and folded. On the inside of the card, 
uh, we're using very vanilla and I've taken that little um, snowflake spatter snowflake design and just stamped across the top and this is in and then use the all is calm all is bright and I've stamped it in the basic black archival ink so this is going on the inside of the card and here I smudged it so <laughs> I'm always grateful paper is a two-sided product now I'm using the um, fast fuse because this paper is slick and I want it to stick so I'm going to use the fast fuse on this card. There, the inside of the card is done. On the outside of the card I'm just going to adhere, whoops, Maybe I'm not using the fast fuse. I hope I am. I'm about to run out of fast fuse, so probably I will get an opportunity to show you how to uh, put in the refill. Maybe not, but probably yes. Okay, so this uh, designer series paper has been cut at 4 by 5 and a quarter and I'm going to adhere it leaving about an eighth of an inch border all the way around. Okay, now this um, vellum is the background to the deer so I'm going to um, just kind of center it in the top two-thirds of the card. Oops, I need a glue dot for this. Just one glue dot in every corner. It's going to be covered up by the gold foil window frame. So you won't see these glue dots through the vellum. Okay. All right. Now I have a piece of gold foil, and I'm going to uh, take it over to the Big Shot and cut um, a window frame using this Hearth and Home thinlets. So I'll be right back. Okay. I just practically finished the card with the camera turned off, so I'll tell you what I did. I used this die from the die set Hearth and Home and cut a window frame out of gold foil. And um, behind the gold foil you see the, the snowflake gold snowflake vellum and I used four glue dots to adhere that to the the um, snow black snowflake black and white snowflake paper and on the back of the gold foil window frame I put a little piece of um, snail adhesive and just stuck this little fawn to it so that I could position it where I wanted it in the window frame. And then on the back of the window frame and the fawn are uh, dimensionals that I'm using to uh, raise the window frame and the little fawn up off of the card. And then I just stuck it on the card. So basically we're almost finished with this card. Uh, I did a much better job explaining it the first time through, but there you go. You get the speeded up version. Okay, so what we have left right now is cutting out this uh, greeting right here, the sentiment card. And for that, I'm using a uh, die from the die set called Sleigh Ride. 
And so I'm going to go over to my Big Shot and I'm going to um, cut this out. I want the, the sleigh ride design to be cut in its entire, entirety. So I'm going to position the die about like this. Then to frame the bottom uh, um, so that I can keep the angles about the same, I'm going to turn the die over and just um, cut this part. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have uh, run this uh, piece of very vanilla cardstock through the Big Shot twice, once to cut out the the sleigh ride design and wants to finish the contour. Now I'm just going to use my paper snips here and cut it off. I kind of want to try to keep it going straight up and down like the edge of the cardstock. There. Now I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back, adhere it to the card, and I am done. I kind of want him off to the side. There you go. <laughs> I really like this little card. I hope you like it and I hope you'll give it a try. For any of your um, card making needs, just follow the link in the description of this video. It'll take you right to my uh, Stampin' Up! store where you can get anything you need 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So, thanks for watching and happy stamping. <laughs>